in order to transform a company into a sustainable organization in terms of both commitment and performance, <clears throat> leaders have to approach their job, the CEOs, the top management of key people of business units and so on, have to approach their job in a way that, uh, that engages the organization in a learning process. Uh, that is, they see the problem of organization performance as a problem of learning both for, the or for themselves and for the organization. Uh, these leaders, first of all, connect authentically with people. How do, you, how do they connect authentically with people? By being much more revealing about themselves. Uh, so a CEO who took over a company, uh, a, 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 a restaurant company, uh, uh, first management meeting, spoke not only about what the firm needed to do, but about <clears throat> where he was coming from and his own life experience. Had to do a lot with his father and the values that his father had. Uh, revealing those things about himself and who he and, or she might be is a critical part of engaging people in an authentic way. The second element of leadership is that these leaders have to have the will to, an, to essentially change the system change and transform the company around, a, around the kind of philosophy and values I've talked about uh, and around the business idea that's going to drive the business model that's going to drive the organization to better performance. They have to have a clear vision of that and they develop that vision on their own and, 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 and uh, they bring, it, bring a lot of that with them but as far as the business aspects they have to figure that out when they get into the firm but they have to have the will to essentially articulate it and push for it. Now, if I were to stop here, you could also say, well, that can lead to autocratic management, which is not what high commitment, high performance firms are. Uh, because the next dimension of effective leadership that high commitment, high performance leaders have is the willingness to inquire. The willingness to state boldly what they want and what they think they need to do and what the firm ought to be doing and why, but also the willingness to inquire from their own senior team, from the organization as a whole, from people at various levels in the organization, about whether the direction makes sense, whether what they see as what, what people in the organization see as, they, as the strengths of the organization, but also what they see as the barriers to achieving sustainable performance. And, uh, and that enables them to learn the truth about the character of the company and how it's functioning. To, to create sustainability, you have to learn about yourself as a leader, not necessarily you as a person only, but also your ideas, your strategic ideas about what you're trying to do and, whether, and the business policies you promote. That, does that make sense? And if you're not able to, uh, if you're not able to uh, obtain that feedback, you're likely to not be able to get off a path that you may have to get off of to, to sustain the performance uh, over a long period of time. The ability to inquire and to obtain feedback and, and be vulnerable to obtain feedback is a critical characteristic of, of high commitment, high performance leaders. Uh, this has been uh, described in many ways in a less operational way as people, lead, these leaders are, are humble, they have humility, they don't assume they're doing it themselves, they involve others, they ask questions, they try to work on a problem-solving basis. Mm -hmm.